Today, I've got two of my favorite pilots here, Bubby FPV and Erod Yo. These guys are awesome. They've both been featured on Community Spotlights. And actually, Erod was on a on a previous episode where we went to the phosphate mine. We all did some freestyle. He absolutely crushed it. Every time I watch that episode, I'm jealous of some of the lines he pulled out. And I definitely like Bubby's style. It's kind of more of the way that like I fly. I think he's really got that link it together sort of thing. And he's he's been up and coming. How long have you been flying, man? Uh, two years now. Two years. Yeah. Two years, but he's like gotten really good real fast. He's only 15 years old. I thought it'd be really fun to get these two guys out here today. Let's get some quads in the air and see what happens. This is for cleaning your electronics. That's for bando water and uh, when you crash in the mud. So you crash in the water, you just go like that, and then it's fine? Usually, yeah, it dry, it's like alcohol or something. It dries up pretty quickly, so. Look at that. I'm gonna try to cartwheel over that bent or something. And you're pretty low to the ground when you're approaching it, right? Yeah, which it doesn't have to be. You can do any obstacle not low to the ground, but I just like this one. So I guess I'm kind of going to the side of it, not directly in front of it, so that when I do the cartwheel, I can see it. But the more momentum you have, the cooler it is. And basically, once you get to it, I just throttle up a little bit, and then I roll to the right, and then bam. Are you usually trying to, like, track an object? I usually try to track something with, like, all my tricks, because I don't like dirty rolls. People that just do a roll, with like high camera tilt without mixing the yaw. So the roll just goes like all over the place. But if you mix the yaw in, then the roll is like centered. To do a nice roll, uh, you wanna mix the yaw in the opposite direction that you're rolling in. So if you're rolling to the left, then you wanna yaw inward to the right a little bit. It makes sense, you know, it's just like take a, a snapshot in time. Yeah. Like if you tilt forward and you just roll, like, I mean, then right here, you're down. looking down at the ground, you know? Yeah. Like you don't wanna do that. Whereas if you do that, cross coordination so that you rotate around the camera then when you're upside down it looks weird because you kind of pointed the wrong way but the effect is your camera looks good so um, I'll try all right so you're hitting that uh, you're hitting the cartwheel up try to imagine the quad like how it's flying and try to flatten it out when you do it instead of like being at an angle you know yeah yeah I, met, I for some reason the quad starts like I roll something and it gets going forward when I'm over the object. You gotta like kind of glide with it, you know? When am I giving the throttle? When you're gliding sideways, then hit throttle and roll over. When I'm gliding sideways. Yeah, and like you blip the throttle. Dude, dude that was great. I think my issues right now is that I'm coming straight at it and you just have to come up like offset. Well, I say come, well yeah, kind of off to the side so that you can look at it. There you go, dude, that was brilliant. So I think one of the tricks that Erod is most known for is the sideways power loop. So we all know what a power loop is. We go under an object, power up, loop over it, and go back under it. What Erod does that's a little bit different is he'll go at an object sideways, start looping it, and keeping that object in frame. Oh my gosh. That's insane. That's <laughs> yeah, it was first try. How do you... That's crazy, man. It's like you're doing a power loop, but instead of using the pitch axis, you're using only the roll. This move's pretty blind because you can't really see. You cannot see going. beside you. You have to like look at your entryway and then like turn and then just try to stick to that gap that you're doing it through. Yeah. So it's kind of like a power, a power roll, I, or we could call it the E roll. An E roll. An E roll. An E roll. An e -roll. An e -roll. 
It's your own trick. What? Oh, man. Is it your thing? Are you ready to take that? Himself. We'll force it on him, and then the internet can hate on him <laughs> for having a trick named after himself. See, how do you see where the pole right there is? You don't. You don't. You don't. <laughs> you don't, yeah. This part is going to be trying to avoid the picnic tables. I think I should give it a go. Yeah. Would you say you want to come at it with a little bit of, a, of momentum? Yeah, so that when you, yeah. That, oh! Ah, stupid picnic tables. See, I told you the picnic tables, bro. The first step to achieving is believing. It's believing? If you believe you can do it, you can loop it. All right, so practice power looping it first. Okay. There you go. So you have an idea of how much throttle you need to give it. Then maybe like, maybe just do 180 like through it. Just go through it sideways? Yeah, just go through it sideways. There you go. It feels so weird flying sideways. Like, yeah. Forwards or backwards is a lot easier. Sideways. Perfect. Yeah, that's okay, perfect, cool. dude. I'm gonna try just pushing throttle over. Dude, yes. Ah! Yep. I was getting there. That was ah, it, dude. The ceiling is scary. Well, yeah, that's dude. what's going to make it epic because you can't go too high, you can't go too low. Like, if you can do it here, you're beat. But, dude, how you, how you had, like, your sight locked onto the, the top of it the whole time? Perfect, dude. It's, I need to give it more throttle going to yeah. clear the Yeah, yeah, just clear it. Ooh! Oh, nice oh, it's the same. I'm with it's the same. same. Yeah. It's the picnic tables. Oh yeah. Oh, I keep, it. You I see what I mean so about yeah. you see what I mean about being angled forward a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, you really have to level like, it out or you're gonna forward. hit the you're gonna hit the pole if you don't go. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Scary. That was sketchy. Was that it or was that No not it was I mean, messy. No, dude, he got the motion, he's just trying to get that. No. There you go. Be, why am I going forward I through it? I feel like though? you're I such a flowy person, like you're not really gonna get it. Until you like really commit to it. Like I feel yeah. like you're going really slow and kind of trying to like feel it out. Like I think you just gotta flow into it, you know? <laughs> whoa, whoa. That was nice. Dude. Maybe like do some other tricks first, you know? Like yeah, do yeah. it in the flow. Even though you have some epic saves. It's so hard, like how do I incorporate this into a flow for me? Maybe turn sideways while you're in it? Oh. No. I, oh, that was nice. Dude, that was great. I don't crash into metal a lot. I only fly trees. It, it hurts me. So like, learn today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you're looking for an easier place to learn this, which is a good idea. I mean, it's it's not a bad idea to, you know, break something down in the open air and then take it to a pretty open obstacle where there's not a whole lot around it. Learn it kind of in a field, then take it to just some pole if you can find one with nothing too much above or below it, or just go straight beast mode bubby status and just learn it on an awning with poles and benches and trees. Because if you can do it here, then I mean you- I, I'm determined to get it today. Good. Oh, yeah. yeah, I gotta you get it today. It. So I think I like yawing to the left a bit better. Hey! <laughs> Let's go. I kind of, I did it. I gotta clean it up and then I gotta get it in a line. Because if it's not in a line, then it's not worth it. Let's go. Nice. That, it? that was yeah, it. That was great. Oh, oh. <laughs> moss. right into the moss. Oh, that was oh. nice. Right into the so you do the epic thing. You're in a line, and then just right into the moss. Yeah. Awesome. We learned how to do sideways things today, and Bobby really <laughs> get it because I was I was sideways. Uh, Edwin taught me the sideways power loop, or do we have a new name for it? E roll. The e roll. The e roll. It is kind of your signature trick, though. I, I I feel like it. Every time I see one of your videos, you do them 
what, some of the cleanest I've seen, and I feel like you have a style to it, and like really a good like breakdown for it. So, and I mean, you got him yeah. doing it first day. Yeah, first pack even. In a, a couple, yeah. in a like a difficult obstacle. It's yeah, really, really close to like the roof. Or, like, it looks You're skimming it. Yeah. Skimming it. Hit the like button if you learned something, or even if you just enjoyed the vibes here. Subscribe so that you don't miss a single Rotor Ride episode. Don't forget the bell, guys. Links in the description to both Bubby and Erod's channels. They're both amazing pals. Some of my favorites and really glad we got them together doing stuff here, having a good time. We're gonna get some flying in, so you guys should get out and fly too. We'll see you next time. But as long as you don't do like the victory roll, I feel like that's a habit that's, that's we've all habit. had. Like the victory rolls, we oh, do a cool oh. trick, and you're like, I did it, roll. And yeah. we've all done yeah, I it. I think they're great. Leave a comment. <laughs> victory rolls, yay or nay. I think no, keep the flow. It's like, if you're done with the line anyways, if you're done with the line, never be done with the line. Never done with <laughs> you're done with the line when you crash. <laughs>